Rub up your engines! Today I can show you how you can make your car's brakes last almost forever. Now your car's braking system is important. It stops your car. It turns all the kinetic energy of motion of your car when it's moving into heat, which then makes the car stop. All that kinetic energy of a big car going down the road got to turn into something if you make the car stop. And the brakes turn it into heat. Now modern brake systems, hey, they're pretty well designed. When I was a young mechanic, you could wear out those old drum brakes every 15, 20,000 miles. Modern brake systems are made out of pretty good material. I've seen customers get well over 100,000 miles out of a set of brake pads. Now braking systems are pretty much sealed systems. They have very little maintenance these days, but there is a little bit of maintenance you can do to extend their life. Now when I was a young mechanic, you actually had to clean them every once in a while or they'd get squeaky, they'd make noise, they'd fade, they wouldn't work right. But even today, I like this Matrix, it has drum brakes in the back. So here's what you do. You jack the car up in the air, then you take off the wheel, and here's the drum. Give it a little whack, and you can get it off. Off it comes. And as I said, this has a little spacer, so put that back in here. So it'll be in the right place when you put it back on. Now as you can see inside the drum, there's a whole bunch of dust here. We want to get rid of all that dust. Just wipe it in the garbage can. And to make sure it's clean, we'll get some brake clean and spray the inside. And when you tilt it, it'll all go out. Now you'll notice there's a lot of surface rust. That doesn't mean anything. The only thing that matters is the inside here where the brake pads touch. Then get a pan and clean the pads. And the hardware, all the springs. Now this stuff does stink, so use a big fan like I have. On the inside, there's three little pieces that rub against. If you're doing an actual brake job, when you tuck the drum brakes off, you get a little brake grease and put a little bit on each of the points so they don't squeak, but we didn't take it apart, so the grease that I did when I did the brake job a few years ago is still in there. They don't make any noise. And that's pretty much it for the drum brake maintenance. They adjust themselves. They have an automatic adjuster, and we sprayed that clean when we did all the springs. So I know it's working because the brakes are nice and tight. Every time you back up and slam on the brakes, they tighten themselves. And then, of course, do the same thing on the other side. But the front are discs. And as you can see, the discs are pretty much open air. Any dust on them are just going to blow around. It doesn't accumulate on the rotors. And as you can see, there's surface rust all over the place. That means nothing. The only thing that matters is the part here that the brake pads squeeze to stop the car. And these are good brakes. You can see they're vented here. So the heat vents through these vents faster and makes the car stop better. The only thing you have to worry about disc brakes is whether the pads are too thin. Once they get thinner than, let's say, dime, then they're time to change them so the metal doesn't hit metal. If they're wet and they have leaking brake fluid, then either the hose is leaking going to it, you can see that, or the caliper itself was shot inside and it was leaking fluid. You can see this is bone dry, there's no leaks anywhere, so there's nothing wrong with this. Now brake systems use brake fluid, relatively non-compressible fluid, so when you step on it, it sends all the power to squeeze them. It doesn't compress much at all. It does a tiny bit, but you're not really going to notice that. But the fluid itself is hygroscopic. It absorbs water, and there's a lot of water vapor around here. You can see me sweating. Houston's a human place. So, if you keep your cars forever like me, it's a good idea every five years or so to flush out your brake fluid and put new fluid in it that doesn't have any humidity in it. But if you're the type of guy that gets rid of your cars when they have 100,000 miles, six, eight years old, you don't even have to do that, really. They're not going to go bad in that short period of time, from my experience. Now you do all those things, fine and dandy. Your brakes are going to last a long time. But the absolute top tip for making your brakes last as long as possible is brake conservatively. Years ago, I had a customer with a BMW. I kept putting brake pads on it like every 9,000 miles. And I was using BMW pads from the dealer, so I wasn't using cheap pads. So when he came over for the next brake job, and they were real thin, they were less than the dime's thickness, I said, let's go for a ride. So I watched him. And I noticed he had one foot on the brake and one foot on the gas. And he said, oh, I only drive an automatic. They taught me at school to have one foot on the brake, the left, and the right foot on the gas. 
Well, he took it too literally and he left his foot on the brake. So he's driving down the street and the whole time his brake light is on. So he's driving with one foot on the brake and one foot on the gas. Of course he wore the brake pads out faster. If you don't carry a lot of weight in a vehicle and you drive conservatively, a modern car, it's nothing to get 100,000 miles out of a set of front brake pads. Now, of course, when you have to stop in an emergency situation, slam on the brakes by all means. <laughs> you don't want to hit somebody. If you prepare ahead of time and you don't have to slam on the brakes, they're going to last a lot longer. But when it does come time to change your brake pads out, use quality brake pads. Don't buy the cheapest things you can get your hands on. A lot of my customers don't like squeaks. So if you don't like squeaks, you want quality pads. Zacco Bono pads, a lot of times they're actually better than the factory pads that they came with. So now you know how to make your brakes last almost forever on your car. And since this is Mechanic Monday, I'm giving away a case of this brake cleaner spray. To have a chance to win, place a clean, non-offensive comments on the YouTube comments below, and a winner will be chosen randomly by computer to get a case of this great brake cleaning fluid to make them sparkly clean and stop all that noise in your drum brakes. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.